Hey guys, today I'm doing a, cl a classic video. I'm going to be building a recliner. So let's get ready to see this thing. There we go. Opened up, it looks like it's in not a whole lot of pieces, which is good for me, so. Let's pull this thing out of the box and see what's going on. Okay, so it doesn't look like this is in a lot of pieces. It's almost pre-assembled, which is preferable for me. <laughs> it's only got three pieces, back, front, and the wheel at the bottom. So let's see how many seconds it takes to put this together. <laughs> okay, so this is all of the parts. We just put the wheel on the bottom here, and then I have four screws and four bolts that I just need to screw in. So let me go get the wrench and let's do this. All right, so I put the screw in here, put the other bolt here, tighten it a little bit by hand. So there we go. And then use this to go the rest of the way. There we go. So, all right, it's all tightened up and uh, we're done. <laughs> Very easy to build, now I just gotta flip it over and sit in it. Behind the scenes. There we go. Chairs done. Opens up and everything. It looks perfect. Though. It's great. Uh huh. I I like these kinds of chairs, so I'm very happy we That's have one. That's a lazy chair. I yeah, think. lazy boy. Get that going. Yeah. Oh, huh? yeah. But you're not lazy boy. Mm. Why would you okay. like this? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, I like it. It's very good job. Good. Thank you. Arna. The pocket's great. I can't wait for the kids to put stuff they're not supposed to. No, in. they're not gonna put anything in those <laughs> pockets. Okay. okay. But yeah. I'm gonna put the link to this thing in the description so you guys can get one too. What other colors are there? Or is it just this yeah, color of gray? I think they had brown and dark uh, dark gray. I don't know. Okay. I like this color, so I choose it, this I mean, one. it matches everything. I know, I really like the material. I like the material. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's soft. It's not that kind of gross, uh, scratchy feeling. <laughs> it's not gross, okay. It's not that gross. I said it's not that, that gross, oh, as okay. in, like, not the type. <laughs> Cats will be happy. They, they will. love this material. Ishkan's gonna have a recliner. I know. <laughs> Lazy boy, that's Ishkan. Ishkan He's a cares. handsome boy. <laughs> handsome lazy boy. Thank you, Arna. I love you. I love you too. But yeah, now I gotta find something else to do today because this whole thing was like two minutes. So you guys will see what I do next. Go. I am heading out to go get some of those granola bars because the kids really like them. They're all, everyone's going to school now. <laughs> everyone's going and everyone needs a granola bar of some sort. And the kids also just eat them when they're in the house. So I have to go get some for everyone. Then I have to get some Pecorino Romano. And there we go. Today we're having a pizza party. Our fire oven's finally on. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that it was like already going. But um, I'm going to make pesto for that because pesto and pizza is the, it's the best. Pesto is so good. Like when I was younger, I didn't want to try because it, it, it looks, it's, it kind of looks gross. It's green goop. But like when you try it, it's like this is salty and everything. It's great. But yeah, time to go to Walmart, buy some pest, buy some pesto, buy some pecorino romano and granola bars, and then head home to make some pesto.
There we go. The store's already getting ready for Halloween. Like, <clears throat> it's, it's one of those things where they were already getting ready for Halloween like a month ago, and they're also getting ready for Christmas. These people really like holidays, I guess. I don't know. It's, <laughs> they already have everything for Halloween out. Like, they were already getting out new stuff because stuff had already sold out. I'm like, who's buying Halloween stuff in August? <sighs> no, no. All I know is I'm about to get home. There's no Pecorino Romano. But I got all the granola bars needed, and we're going to go home, I'm going to make some pesto, and then tonight we are having pizza from that oven. We had a little bit, it wasn't a lot, but it was so good. It, it's the best way to eat pizza. It's like one of those things where you, you don't have it for a long while, you're like, yeah, it was good, I miss it. Then you have it and you're like, wow, no, this is amazing and I miss it. <laughs> that was me eating one of those slices, it's so crispy, it's so good. Okay, but before I go on like a 10 hour talk about the pizza, I need to get it home. So I'll see you guys there. All right, so I'm gonna collect some basil now for my pesto. We're having pasta right now. Um, my mom just made like a big bowl of I don't know, it's, penne, it's not penne alla vodka, it's just pasta and marinara sauce. But, it's time to get my basil on. And I'm, I know what basil looks like. Oh, hold on, hold on. I want to show you guys something cool. nature happening live <laughs> all right so let me set this up and start picking some basil basil secured now it's time to head inside eat some pasta and then get on the pesto train. All right, it's time to make pesto. So, just gonna grab this pie. I, nothing's really measured. I'm just doing it like how I did it that one time in a short. Um, I'll leave the link to that in the description too. Gonna get some pine nuts. Oh, um, normally I've seen people toast them. I've never toasted them and. I know I've toasted them once, and then one time I hadn't. There wasn't really a big difference. So I'm just going to toss them in here. There we go. I'm going to put some salt. Some Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. So, we're not doing pizza today. We're doing it Saturday or maybe tomorrow. Um, I'm making this now because so we have it. Um, my favorite thing to do with this though is instead of putting marinara sauce on the pizza, we put like the pesto and then the cheese. So then it's just a pesto pizza and it's, it's really good. So, just added the cheese. I'm gonna put some black pepper. and a little bit of olive oil. Can I remove the stopper? And one last ingredient I'm missing. 
the basil. So I'm going to go grab that right now and we're going to get started. There we go. The basil is cleaned. I just need to destem some of them um, and double check them for little creatures. Uh, the last time I made pesto, when I posted the short, not a lot of people noticed it, but uh, there was a worm, or not a worm, a caterpillar on one of the leaves. We caught it before we blended it, but I'm like, we'll leave that in the video. I wanna see if anyone notices it. Not a whole lot of people <laughs> noticed it, but um, you take off these stemmy bits because they don't blend very well, and it's kind of gross to be eating smooth pesto and getting a, uh, a mouthful of stem. So I'm gonna do this process real quick, and then we'll get to uh, the fun part. Basil clean. One last thing to clean. It is a, not a clove of garlic. Would this be a clove? Yeah. One garlic. Alma. Hello. That's Alma yawning. She wants something. Um, yeah, just gotta clean off this piece of garlic and uh, throw it in there. I love pesto so much. It's one of my favorite, like, th I used to hate it. I think I said this in the car when I was in, uh, when I was at Walmart. One woman needed to grab a knife. Just need to cut off this little stubby part. But as I was saying, um, I used to hate pesto because it looks gross. Like it's not an appetizing color. It's not like a nice name, <laughs> but it's so good. Like when you smell this, this basil smells good. Garlic smells good. Like everything smells good. And when you combine it, it's just this very fragrant, good smell. <laughs> so just gotta pop this in and start stuffing in the leaves. I'm make, mixing it up in the Nutribullet. One, because it's the easiest thing to clean. And two, this is one I found. <laughs> so, this is our beautiful, it's like a layered dip of pure beauty. Pine nuts, olive oil, uh, Parmigiano Reggiano, a, a clove of garlic, and some basil, salt and pepper, obviously. Pesto didn't quite blend right, and I think it's because there's way too much room in this one. So I'm gonna transfer this into the smaller, smaller Nutribullet thing. Cause chunky pesto, I'm sure some people eat it. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> Definitely not one of those people. But even in like this pre, state it smells so good so good so i'm just gonna add a little bit more olive oil to get it to be a little more liquid so there's a little liquid in that and then uh let's get back to mixing Go. There we go. Let me just crack this open. There we go. Yeah, that's a good smell. <laughs> like, by appearance, this doesn't look great, but like the taste of pesto is just supersedes its appearance. <laughs> so I'm gonna clean this up. And uh, 
I don't know, I think I'm gonna spread it on something. I'm gonna see what we have to spread this delicious. Actually, let me, before I say anything, let me try a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Oh, that's really good. All right, give me one moment to uh, clean up my surroundings and uh, we'll start. Start spreading and eating. All right, I think I found my jar. I like the size of it, I like the shape. I don't know, it's one of those funny looking ones. But let me mix this up a tiny bit. And I'm gonna start dripping it in. There we go. <laughs> All right, pesto's jarred. Look at that delicious color, dark green. <laughs> Such an unappetizing color, but the taste is amazing. I tasted it, flavor's good. I'm gonna go call my mother. She also enjoys a good pesto, and then uh, we'll get her opinion on it. Okay, just getting some forks out. I think what we're gonna try it with is today's pasta dish. <laughs> So I got the pasta out, the pesto's here, the pesto's here, and oh, and mother is here. <laughs> hi guys, and hi pesto, how are you? <laughs> Did it come out nice and delicious? It looks good. Looks very, yeah, it looks great. Very green. It's so warm. It, it's just pulsed. No. <laughs> It's really delicious. Very yeah. thick and creamy. Mm, this is good pesto, Arnav. Good. No, it's it's not liquidy. You should have added some... Some more? Oh, lemon? lemon. What, what did we add? I forgot. We could add lemon. lemon we could juice. add mint. <laughs> no, but something to make it like a little bit runny. Olive oil. That's what you would Olive add. Oil? Yeah. Do you want me to add some more? No, no. It looks like you've added a good, good amount of olive oil. It's very <laughs> oily, but it's so thick and um, creamy. Mm. A lot of cheese? Yeah. Okay. But it's good. It's yeah. delicious. Enjoy. I, I was just telling them, we're like, I used to hate pesto by color because it doesn't look like the most beautiful thing. But it's once you green. taste it, it's like, yeah, no, this yeah. is the most beautiful thing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to try it on some of this pasta from today. Enjoy. I will. You deserve it. <laughs> you did so much mm -hmm. today. Not really. <laughs> Good job, Anna. Did uh, you see Ishkan enjoying our uh, brand new recliner today? I took a video of it for the... I know. <laughs> Got my delicious pesto <laughs> and my delicious pasta. Gonna combine the two. Hmm. I was telling them how we used to do the uh, the pesto pizza. Mm -hmm. Where instead of sauce, we would just add pesto. Oh, it was the best kind. No sauce, just a few kind, kinds mm -hmm. of different cheeses and pesto. And now, yeah, we will. Now we have the pesto. We should do that tomorrow. Um, or the next day. Whenever we do this it. This week, yeah. Mm -hmm. This weekend, probably. We're going to do it point, today. but in the future. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Yay. <laughs> we have pesto. Thank you, Arnak. Super easy to make, like... I made it a few times already. Remember the one with worm? You I was should... telling them, I told them about that. <laughs> I've already posted the story on my account, like, oh, well, I'm gonna link I it. I didn't even see it myself. The funniest one is like, no one noticed. And then one person knows, and then everyone else all of a sudden Did noticed. you blend it? No. No? No, no, no. You caught it. I caught it, yes. yeah, but I, I, I didn't see it on your in. video. Because it, it's green, it blends in. You but, should have blended it. It would have been like with protein, protein pesto. Yeah. But remember, I was, I was getting everything together and I was about to press blend. They're like, oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. And I'm like, oh. I saved the poor animal. <laughs> poor animal that probably went and ate your garden right after. Uh, yes, <laughs> I know those this is so green good animals. By itself too. It's real spicy this time. Uh, I don't know what I've added. Pepper <laughs> paste or chili flakes. Mm. But yeah. 
It's all good. <laughs> Enjoy. I will. And thank you guys for watching. Watching me build a build a <laughs> recline. It was great. You did. It was um, two steps. Not build. <laughs> yeah. But come here. Try this. What's that in your hand? Okay. You want to try something? You're gonna torture my child. It's not torture. Here. Back. I'm gonna put a little bit of it on. Just Look try. At it. face. It's pesto. It's delicious. It, it's something you put on pizza. Just try it, please. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm? Okay, that's the best compliment I'm getting. <laughs> was it good though, Beth, or was it? Okay. And here in a way. But yeah, um, I really like the recliner. Super easy to build. It was like one step, and you were done. So good. The link to that will definitely be in the description. The link to me almost blending a worm into pesto will also be in the description. Mm -hmm. uh, Alma, you also want some? I also want to be in the description. Mm -hmm. I'll put Alma in the description somehow. <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, das vidanya. Das vidanya.